most popular recurring guest who's new to our show this season is this woman here, Lisa Lillian, and it's because her site is so hugely popular, as well as her books. Hungry Girl, uh, this is the Hungry Girl, Lisa Lillian. <laughs> Hungry Girl is truly a rage. Um, it's all the rage. And this is the book, it's 200 under 200, 200 recipes under 200 calories. And every time Lisa's here, people literally go, oh, no. So today we're gonna debunk things. I'm so happy you're doing this because these are things that women especially go out and think that's a healthy choice. They reach for it time and again, and you could be sabotaging your own diet, even if you're just trying to eat a healthful diet, and you know, seemingly you're, you think you're making a healthy choice when really you're eating a lot of sugar or salt or fat. So um, I think this is gonna be really fascinating. Where are we gonna start today, Lise? We're gonna start here. Now these are what I call food fakers. Food fakers. Like food fakers, and don't be fooled. First thing here is tonic water. Now, tonic water, you go to a bar, you order a drink with tonic, you think you're getting something that has no calories at all. Right. It says water, you think it's water. water. Exactly. Tonic water actually has, are you ready? Yeah. As much sugar as like 10 sugar cubes. Shut 22 up. 22 grams of sugar, 90 calories for eight ounces. In tonic water. Tonic water, which is just. I did not know that. It's absolutely crazy. It's like soda. It's like getting, a, which is completely deceptive. So if you want tonic water, go for diet tonic water or stick with club soda, diet soda, seltzer, things like when that. When you order a cocktail, for instance, instead of a vodka tonic, order a vodka club soda and you save 90 calories. Exactly. Or as many calories <laughs> as the ounces. But yes, you 90 see, calories. You see why people love her so much? <laughs> Okay, so club soda, yes. yes. Seltzer water, fine. Fine. Excellent. Let's move along. Moving on. Now, dried fruit. That's another thing. People think dried fruit, you can snack on it, people grab it. It's loaded with sugar. Right. It's just crazy high in fat and calories. 30 grams of fat, okay? 30 grams of fat, 400 calories in a cup. It's like eating four bananas. Wow. But, and bananas don't even have fat. So. And, and a little tiny handful, plus you're getting all that fat. It's unbelievable. It's crazy, and nobody wants to eat four bananas. Not so even. just eat a bowl of I fresh mean, fruit. A family of orangutans, maybe? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think um, we're, we're not quite hairy enough to be into the four <laughs> banana treat. Exactly, or itchy enough. Um, but no. <laughs> Uh, frozen fruit. I don't know fruit. where that came from. <laughs> it was good though. Frozen, frozen fruit, fruit. Like delicious. it's a little treat. I like to freeze grapes, freeze bananas, and also freeze dried fruit. Instead of just dried fruit, freeze dried fruit. Now that's like really popular. It's very trendy very now. Cool. You just suck the moisture out of the fruit. You don't do it. Someone else does it. You just buy it at the supermarket. And then it's crunchy, it's, it's sweet. Got it, and it's got its original nutritional integrity. Yes. Yes. Exactly. I love frozen grapes though. They're delicious. They are. They're fun. Up next. Greek yogurt. Now, Greek yogurt's very popular, very trendy. People use it as like, you know, swaps for sour cream and then they eat it as a dessert. But regular Greek yogurt is way high in fat and calories. Each cup has, are you ready for this? I don't know. Oh, look oh at 10 God. tablespoons of sour cream. The same amount of calories as 10 tablespoons of sour cream. Wow. It's, it's 300 calories. It's 20 grams of fat in Greek yogurt. 20 grams. 20 grams. But don't they make, they do sell reduced fat Greek yogurt, that, don't they? That's the key. You have to read the labels. Now the thing is a lot of the Greek yogurts, all the labels look the same. So the, the 0%, the 2% and the full fat look so similar, you have to just read the labels. The 0% is the way to go and it's just as creamy as the real thing. I was gonna say, have you tried it? Is it as is tangy and the consistency is the same? 100%. All right, it's so that's good. an easy one. Easy. Easy. Now this next one really puts a bee in my bond and I, I, I commend a lot of movie theaters across the country that have switched over. But you know, a lot of places still use these sticks of fat that they melt to make their popcorn. Yeah, I mean, movie theater popcorn, people think if you order it without butter, you're doing a good thing. It is not air popped. As you say, it has all that bad oil. So a medium-sized movie theater popcorn has 700 calories, 40 grams of fat. 40 you know grams of is? fat. That is the same entire stick amount of, of calories as a stick of butter. Whole stick with Whole no stick. butter on it. I know. It I is, know. It's embarrassing. Some theaters are now offering popcorn that's cooked in vegetable oil, but 
by and large, it's still a huge issue. You have to be really careful. But if you're home and you make the popcorn at home, I like to put some fun toppings on it. You don't have to eat just boring plain popcorn. Me too, we make, we make I loved seeing this because my husband and I do this all the time. My husband and I put a little sprinkle of Parmigiano cheese on it, delicious. Yeah, you get some light parm, sprinkle it on. If you want your toppings to stick a little more, you can use butter flavored cooking spray, a little spritz just really a goes little a long spritz. way. Just a little spritz. Cinnamon. Oh, chili, chili powder. powder. Chili oh, powder. Give it up cinnamon for chili powder. Powder. Don't you love her? So up next, we're going to talk about what French women know about love. Mm -hmm. That's coming up.